can you hear me can you hear me actually the registration uh, started from 30th september and the last date for online registration with regular fee that means 3600 for boys and 50% 1800 for girls till october 21st and last date with 500 rupees penalty or late fee it is till october 29th but i think one or two weeks will be extended every year uh, 10 to 15 days extensions will be extension will be get after 21st so don't worry about the dates and uh, exam date it's very important it is 22nd january 2023 january 22nd is a sunday okay i think uh, you all notice this uh, exam dates and very important you have to download the brochure 2023 brochure and second you see the application so i already told you uh, the important steps first of all you see the examination on uh, 22nd of january and be it as admission application that means we need to apply to each iit separately no it's a common admission portal so that uh, registration will be starting from 13th march after results in 2023 and the application process first of all the eligibility first and second is very easy the age limit everything is given no important uh, eligibility criteria is the third one um, the candidate should have passed in all subjects in the qualifying examination that means 12th or equivalent in 2022 or should be appearing for the qualifying examination for first time in 2023 that means the student who qualified 12th examination in 2021 are not eligible for UC 2023 category is not considered in this eligibility criteria so only two sets of candidates are uh, I, I know a lot of students who dropped their course and uh, repeated some uh, coaching classes with us in 2022. Their 12th their standard completed in 2021, so they are not eligible for UC examination. So don't worry, you have a lot of other options in 1080 and other colleges are all you. And what about the percentage requirement for UC? Plus two pass. Plus two pass. Not that's so. okay ma'am okay. ma'am how many percentage we should get in 12th just pass enough okay. no percentage required okay ma'am plus, plus two or equivalent pass that's enough it was 50 percent in uh, i think nifty and nrd six to seven years back that's why a lot of people are asking about percentage but uh 40 percent or 40 papers 45 percent or 100 percent they won't consider the total score for admissions and uh, nra actually the reservation for iits that's that's not for nras actually foreign nationals or overseas citizens of india these uh, only these two categories uh, candidates are eligible for overseas category super 10 percent supernumerary seats uh, for any doubts in this area nra students can contact me i will explain if you are eligible or not and registration fee for girls scst and physically handicapped candidates and female candidates in all categories it is 1800 only and other candidates that means boys general and obc ncl boys exam fee is 3000 600 and for overseas candidate you know the exam fee is very high us dollar 350 and 450 and but the matching of uh, yeah tell me there is any reservation for an ex serviceman like that no actually this this same institute they do not have sports quota or ex service quota okay got it right okay ma ah. and pattern of examination is similar to previous years we have three type of questions numerical answer type msq and mcq in part a but out of 300 240 marks carries by the part a session only 60 marks carried by the part b section that means 80 percent part a and 20 percent part b and the part a session you what, know this three... what is numerical answer type numerical answer type means no options oh. answer will be an integer oh so these are math problems <laughs> not maths actually analytical reasoning questions will be there there will not be any choices for the answers i see uh, some gk or in general and uh, uh, see there is no negative marking for this session no negative but the second session msq msq for correct answers four marks but partial marking is given it's uh, explained in the brochure uh, for uh, three right answers no wrong answers chosen then you will get two marks like that but for wrong answers minus one will be added that means plus four and minus one for correct answers four marks will be added and for wrong answers minus one marks will be and uh, 
So negative marking is there in second session. And the last section, MCQ, multiple choice, uh, three marks. For correct answers, three marks. And for wrong answers, minus 0 0.71 will be deducted from your score. That means they have separate cutoff, 10 persons cutoff for all these separate sessions. So the pattern of user is not easy because they have session wise question, session wise different, different pattern, session wise cutoff, negative mark is there. That's why the UCL exam is a little bit tough comparing to other design examinations. And you know, the sketching question, uh, it's only one question, that question will be a big one, only 30 minutes allotted for the drawing question. but. Total score 60. But if you are good in logical reasoning and analytical reasoning or visual reasoning, definitely you will get into. If you are not good in drawing, don't lose hope. You see this there. And it is, it's, I already explained the marking, marking system of part session one, two, and three. And BDES allotment. After the results, uh, the BDES allotment portal will be open from 14th March to 31st. You need to apply to or uh, this portal otherwise you won't get into iits you see this just a score no we will update you you don't worry about that we will update you after the results about all these things and important thing for a bds application you have to pay the uh, exam fee again three thousand last year it was two thousand but iit increased it it increased at a rate of uh, 50 percent so this year it is three thousand that means you need to pay the exam fee in the beginning and after that, after qualifying UCID to apply to the BDC admission portal, have to pay another 3,000 3, rupees that is non refundable. Ma'am, is 3,000 is for all institute? Or... Yes, for all institute. Okay. It's a common allotment portal. Got it, right? It's 3,000 for all institutes, all yes, IITs, not for private institute, for IITs, okay. for all IITs. For boys, it is a little bit expensive because they have to pay 3600 in the beginning and again 3000 for girls it is 1800 plus 3000 that's the total expense for ma'am which uh, iit is best for the bdes program ma'am uh, actually uh, you see it started by iit mumbai idc the most demanded one is idc that's why because they started in 2016 only then iit guwahati started and then hyderabad and last iit delhi okay also, so, Triple IIT Jabalpur. That's what uh, Triple IIT Jabalpur started in 2017 itself. That's uh, not IIT, it is Triple IIT. Triple IIT Jabalpur, Indian Institute of Information Technology. IIT so, Delhi's BDS program is how old? It just started, ma'am, this year. 2022, they started. Only 20 seats are there. This is a seat matrix. IIT Mumbai, they have 37. IIT Delhi, they started 2020, this year only. The first intake in 2022. And Guwahati, uh, they have 56. They have more number of seats comparing to other IITs. And IIT Hyderabad also started uh, recently. So the number of seats are only 20. But Triple IIT Jabalpur, they started along with IIT uh, Guwahati. So their number of seats is 66. And don't worry about the packages and coaching. All are same in all IITs. And it's uh, we already discussed this. The, a lot of private institutes, they share UC results. We will assist you about the If you qualify to UC examination, but uh, the score is little bit low. You won't get into IITs, right? Then also you can apply to other institute with that UC score. You can call me for any type of assistance on this. I think you must have tried this pre-application process. You need to take a first versus photograph with white background. Profession and photo that photograph should be taken in professional camera in studio. Do not take the photo from your mobile phone. And uh, uh, sizes are given there, and background should be white. Ears should be visible like this. This one is the first one is not professional. Second one is the standard size. And uh, uh, put your signature in a white paper with a black pen. Do not use blue or other inks. And uh, scan it on this jpeg format minimum size 2 kb maximum size 50 kb and the dimension is also given in that one by four uh, another document is the uh, proof of date of birth passport birth certificate or your 10th certificate you can upload any of these three certificates as a proof of date of birth and uh, qualifying exam certificate the students who completed uh, 12th standard they can upload their 12th certificate those who are 
uh, pursuing their third standard and waiting for 2023 board examination, they have to uh, take the printout of annexure one, appendix one, and uh, affix a photograph. Sign you should sign it by the school principal. Do not take online for certificates from the school. Take a printout and affix a photograph and go to school and take fill up the details by your principal. Okay, that's a that's a bona fide that bona fide certificate given by the school is accepted. Bon, yeah, bona fide certificate, but the format you should use the format given by IIT. Do not take that from your school. Okay, ma'am. That's the format in the school, but you cannot use that. The format is already given along with this appendix one, the end brochure. I will WhatsApp you the brochure and the appendix separately. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Do not use any other formats because your application that uh, uh, document will be rejected by IIT. We are really experienced in that. Whatever certificate. But uh, when I asked in school, they said like uh, without the institution name, they won't be giving it, ma'am. Yeah, it's they given to IIT, no? You said it's a, it's a specified format from IIT. It append the you just check the appendix one in the UC twenty twenty three brochure. Yeah, IIT is a central government institute, no? <laughs> Your principal will issue it. Don't worry about that. But the name is not printed in the appendix. It's a common format. Definitely, they will issue it. Do don't worry about that, because the format given by the schools they won't accept. They never accepted it. That's why they are giving the format to. And when you scan a photograph for UC application, use that same photograph in the uh, bona fide format. Okay, bona fide certificate format. Use that same photograph. And then uh, to fill start filling up the application. And one more thing for OBC, SC, ST students, uh, an extra one, two, three. So many formats are given there. Uh, take a printout from all these. If you uh, you are relevant category certificate, you take a printout and go to the relevant officer and get it done. Uh, category or community certificate from village office or your Tagsildar or any issuing authorities. Use the formats given by IIT. Okay, everything is given in the brochure. We will just send me your category. I will send you the and after arranging all these documents, uh, look, come to the home page of UC 2023 and register first. First of all, you need to register with your basic information. Give your email ID and you will get an email. Then you log into the link given in that email. Okay, and fill up the basic information first. And uh, some secret questions, like in all other applications, some secret questions will be given. If you, for, you need to create a password for that. If you forget this, this uh, password, and uh, some secret answers will be given and you need to note all these informations before submitting. After that, then go to the home page again. Then log in with the mail ID and your password again. And then start filling up the application forms. Fill up, fill up all the details, uh, upload the documents and then make the payment. And first of all, you need to arrange the document. And then register for that. Then we will fill up, we will help you to fill up the remaining things, uploading documents, making payments and everything. Okay, for any doubts, call me. My number is 9895-484652. 9895-484652. I'm sure you all have my number. Call me for any type of doubts. I will help you to uh, all these slides are irrelevant right now. First of all, you will you need to submit your application form. After that, we will give you one more orientation just before the exam. And after results, we will give you another orientation for BDS at uh, registration portal. After that, we will give we will give you one more orientation to choose your so that assistance will be continued like this. In between, for any doubts, you can call me in this number. Okay. When you fill up the application form, use all the details as per your uh, school certificates. Do not make any changes to your names or your parents' name, address. Use the data given as per your school certificate. Is there any discrepancies in these things? You just call me. If you have changed your name, uh, you need to get one one and the same certificate for that. Ma'am, it's not for the application, but uh, we mentioned... Uh, in the PPT before, we, they mentioned Pearl Academy as one in one mm -hmm. of the groups. Doesn't mm -hmm. Pearl Academy, uh, does it offer diploma or uh, degree? Ma'am, they were offering an international certificate, but from this year, they said 
they will get UGC recognized degree. They are all, they are already in tied up with some university. They did they did not give VDCN degree. It was there till 2012. After 2012, they tied up with so many international institute and they stopped showing VDCN. But from this year, they will be starting VDCN again. Okay. Bell Academy is the oldest institute. Regarding specialization and uh, choosing any other institutes, is the MIT Pune different from, yeah, MIT Pune is different, mm -hmm. MIT World Peace University, WPU and MIT Avantia, uh, these two institutes are the associated institute only, MIT Pune is the main campus, other two institutes are their data sharing institutes actually, they are not M original MIT, because Avantia is in Ujjain, not in Pune, that's why we are assisting you. <laughs> When you apply to any college, they will help you. It is, it is a little bit confusing if you if you Google search all these things. And also, also if you have any doubts about your skills, with stream, uh, it's, it, if you feel it's difficult to select a stream like a kind of solution or communication, contact your teachers. They will help you to find the aptitude. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, ma when we apply to IITs, do we have to select the stream? uh like before like for nid we don't have to do that right uh they have this uh one-year program and then we can select our streams so is that the same for iits or do we have to like you know select at the beginning can can you please repeat it ma'am uh when we apply to nid uh judy ma'am said that we have this uh one-year foundation course after yeah. which yeah. we can sp uh, hmm. select a specialization so does the same apply to iits actually uh specialization is at the end of foundation year that depends on your performance in the foundation year in foundation year you have to experience all the streams from second year onwards the specialization is depends on your score and in iits that foundation course will be extended to three or four semesters thank you so, I iit uh, uh, it's an integrated BDS program. Okay. You can choose more than one electives. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I, you can do both communication and industrial design. Uh, uh, would you be sharing the groups that? Uh, that yeah, ma'am. We yeah we will put this PPT in the uh, master classroom. We have a Google classroom in the master named master classroom. Would it be uh, possible to share it on the WhatsApp number that Julie was mentioning? Yeah, I think so. Let me check with her. I will try to share that link in your WhatsApp. Okay. Okay. We'll post it in the Google Classroom itself. Let me check. Okay. If you want, we will share it in the WhatsApp. The link we will share in WhatsApp. When you say, if you have a problem in selecting a group, just call me or Julie, ma'am. Or you can WhatsApp me. Someone asked about number, the number. number. My number nine eight nine five. It's with you, Abin. You have the number. Oh. 9895484652 and for a uh, notification updates at uh, 9995484649 i'll type it in the chat box have this number for notifications it's my number you can call in this number for any doubts in filling up the form or choosing a college or anything any doubts okay then i'm leaving for now so delayed thank you thank you thank you ma'am